Welcome back to the Buds in the Box podcast. The Leafs win 4-1 to against the first place Pittsburgh Penguins. And by first place, I mean in the Metro, which is a big deal because the Penguins are on an absolute roll, especially Jari, and they just beat them 4-1. Amazing game, especially by Campbell, even Matthews. He even got a little chippy there at the end with a crossbar. Um, we'll talk. We'll get into that later. But uh, guys, any initial thoughts on the game? Yeah. <laughs> Would you like to share them? <laughs> nice. That was an all-around good game by the Leafs. They played well. Like that's the type of game you want to see, especially against a good team like that. And that's the type of game you want to see Campbell play. So it's good luck. Oh yeah. Are you done? Yeah. Okay. Dude, you no, he's not gone. Uh, hey, yeah, no. Feli said it well. Um, that's what you want to see from Campbell. Definitely is uh, more or less of a bounce back game. Not not that he's like horrible, but that's just that's perfect. That's exactly what we need. He had a great game, uh, like forty five plus shots or whatever he had. So. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for chiming <laughs> in there, bro. You're um, and then and then yeah, you know we we played. We played right to every whistle. We we battled hard and we. What's his most saves? Off. Hmm. Campbell. What's his career most saves? I don't know. That I I that like honestly might be. No, I feel like it's more. It would have said something. I feel like. Yeah. Okay, and Campbell, cool. when he was twelve years old, played for the Double A, <laughs> where he had two hundred shots, which was Tough the only one. Idiot. <laughs> 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 like on Morgan Riley, who played for in the WHL for 19 teams and grew up in Calgary, is, has the puck. It's like, bro, <laughs> dude, you don't need to hear that, dude. Did, did they have a college night or something? What do you mean I, by that? I, I think they had like a college night, like a college NHL hockey night to promote like the NCAA or something. And every time anyone, any player touched the puck, they would say what college they're from. Really? Yeah, and it was like a St. Louis versus whatever game, and it was like a bunch of Americans. Oh yeah. Well, if you want to remember the most saves in a game, it's it's uh, it's Ron it's Ron Tugnut. <laughs> Who is it? It's Ron Tugnut. And how many saves? Seventy. Wait, and no, many... wasn't it wasn't it Corpus Allo or or? Oh yeah. Oh maybe no, but he had seventy two. So the, or he had seventy T O O. So they both have seventy. So it's. I like Tugnut more. <laughs> no, I swear he broke a record though. Tugnut? I swear he had like a hundred and something shots. No. I swear to God. That's impossible. That's yeah. that, like that would be insane. Six overtime. That only happens in Georgina Ice games. Yeah. <laughs> Our most was 86. But it was split between two goalies. Which is I don't know how that's possible. We lost 10 one. Like, that's literally just a shot getting peppered every other like 10 seconds. We lost 10 1. What? And really? I play that team tomorrow. Oh my God. And you're starting? And, yeah. And my partner is in Sarnia. So, Yo. yes. It says Corpus Hollow sets new record. Oh, really? So yeah. How many saves do you have? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch this video. <laughs> This guy's gonna watch the full. The, he's oh, he made eighty three saves. Eighty three. Eighty three. Yeah. Who did? Corpus Allo. Holy jumbo! Remember, Feli, in that playing game when it went to like five overtimes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Like Seth Jones had like three games played or whatever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he, and, he had like two. He had like two full hockey games played. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay, we're getting a little off topic here, but uh, let's let's get into the game. I mean, yeah, let's get into the game. Um, the uh, Austin Matthews Not- open what? <laughs> Sorry, what? You said these. <laughs> okay, okay, wait, wait. Actually, before we get into the first period, make sure you guys go oh, check yeah. out our sponsors down below. <laughs> I, uh, not- I'm, I'm being thrown off right now. Um, use code buds20 at manscaped.com and the people's cup.ca. Um, now, now for real, we're getting into the game. Uh, Austin Matthews open, opens up the scoring 21 seconds into the game with a nice breakaway pass. I, I don't remember who it was. Who Brody. Was Brody? Oh, right. Originally, they gave Brody the goal. I don't know how. Really? Yeah, on the score. Um, but uh, Matthews tucks it home. And I, I texted the boys earlier that the Leafs, they don't score very many breakaways. Have you guys found that, especially with, like, McKayev and stuff? 
they don't score them, but they get them. Yeah, that's true. Like Nylander has like the most breakaways in the league or something. What? Yeah. And he doesn't score on them either. Well, he actually has mm-hmm. the most breakaway goals as well, which I was like, oh, okay. Really? Yeah. That's, I wouldn't think that. Yeah. So he must I, have a low percentage then. He has like a 50%. 50%. Oh, so that's a lot of breakaways. Yeah, it's, he has like eight or nine. Hmm. I feel like he doesn't score them. I feel like I haven't seen him yeah, score. Same. Yeah, I, I know. It's so weird. I don't know if that stat is right. Didn't he get two breakaways in that game against New York and Shesterkin stopped them both? Yeah. Do you remember that? I swear. Like, those are right there. I don't know. Maybe that's just because that was like a, a big win kind of game. But Well, I feel like he gets a lot of breakaways. <laughs> I just don't remember him scoring. He's so fast, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, speaking of breakaways, Morgan Riley's goal, end-to-end, and an absolute snipe on Jari, who's been in Vesna contention, probably not after this game, of what the Leafs embarrassed him with but unbelievable goal by Riley what do you guys think it almost looked like Riley had a snipe superstar x-factor if you ask me (laughs) uh (laughs) and the wheels (laughs) x-factor so uh no like he just went end to end that was pretty sick dude uh you know what I think I think the x-factor was the best way to put it you know um he really had that snipe the puck was settled down and uh and he ripped it and that sounded nice too that sounded nice with did, some uh did some... See Jamie's story mm-hmm. bro Jamie was sitting behind the net and got that got oh that yeah. yeah 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 I saw. Uh, <laughs> that, was a, that was yeah. a very nice shot we might we might have I was to, just about to say, it. yeah I was just about to say um that those were supposed to be that was my game that I was supposed to go to. No, the limits, yeah. Why didn't you go? Because the fifty percent was not included from the person that we bought the tickets from. So, the like the fifty percent is not for some reason. It's like I guess it's platinum's only or something. Did you get your money back? Yeah. No, that's good. Damn. That. But he did. The game. guy that we bought them from didn't. Just get it in March, man. Yeah. The, everything's going to be open in March. Just go back. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm sure we'll, we'll be there at a game. We'll make a video about it. Yeah. Um, that's our, fun. You know, we're going to try actually with like, potentially we'll try to go to a game and make a vlog out of it or something. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm a hundred percent sure that we are going to go to Maple Leaf square. I'm Maple Leaf square. Yeah. So I was and just going to say, I, the only thing I'm unsure about is if we'll go to every single one instead of just a few. No, we'll go to a few. Unless it turns into like a big, like end of the series, you know, like if there's game six, seven, like we'll definitely try to get in. Yeah. But it's always like a little bit of a hassle to get into Maple Leaf Square because you got to show up in line at like four o'clock for the seven o'clock game and stand there for an hour and a half and then, or two hours and then get in. So, but we'll do it. Yeah. It's always, it's always a good time. It's always fun. Especially when the Leafs are playing like this. Um, Another eight mo play, um, eight mo with a steal on the shorthanded, on the shorthanded on the penalty kill, um, and for those asking if I'm drunk, what? I'm not. Is that we're just gonna call him eight mo instead of uh, Riley? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> for those asking if I'm drunk, I think you are. I'm just thrown off. I don't know. I'm just. Yeah. I'm, I'm just off. Okay. Um, That's a good excuse, man. Tell that, no. tell that to the cops. Oh, okay. Speak to the breathalyzer. <laughs> okay, okay. Watch this. Watch this. I'll literally, I'll kill this next sentence. Okay. Morgan Riley with a great steal on the penalty kill skates up the ice and dishes it to David Comp for a great short handed <laughs> goal. What? You're reading at two kilometers an hour. Like, <laughs> okay, hold on. Amo, uh, just, just uh, the, the puck and uh, <laughs> okay, no, but uh, all you have to know is great play by Amo and a great finish by David Kampf. Um, the Leafs penalty kill has been unbelievable this year, and it, it, it seems like they're getting better like almost every game. They're they're just gelling so well, and I'm so glad that Dubis was smart enough to pick up Kampf, to pick up Kasha, and to utilize Marner on the penalty kill. Unbelievable job by by Dubis, and I I don't think. He even gets enough credit for his off-season pickups because Bunting, we'll forget about Richie, but Kasha and um, Kampf, unbelievable signings. Yeah, for sure. Um, 
Kasha, I think, has been like exceptional, but unnoticeably kind of. He just does everything right. Like he's doing a lot of stuff defensively and on the penalty kill and everything. So, and he's got goals and he's got points and that's not everything, but he's definitely just doing good, good things. And then Kampf is also like just the two of them together, you know, Kasha is kind of reminding me like a Kapanen type player. Like he kind of does that sort of thing. He's really fast. He gets some offensive opportunities, but he's good defensively too. And uh, that third line, I knew it. I called that. Like, earlier in the season, I said, when Kampf, Kasha, and Mikheyev get to be a line, when they're all healthy, it's going to be so – it's going to be a nice third shutdown line, and it is. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Dude, anything about uh, the pickups or even just the Riley goal or Kampf goal in general? Uh, not really. I mean, it was just like – Watching our PK is actually like fun to watch. Like it's not like scary. Like when normally when you're watching a power play from another team, you're like, okay, there's probably gonna be a, a dirty goal or a nice goal. Like it, there's just it, that's just how a power play works. Like there's just always gonna be a goal. But I don't know how how many do they have this game? Like four or five? Like there's a lot of penalties. Uh, but, yeah, oh, they were over five on the on the power play. Over five, like that's crazy. That's a lot of power plays for a team that's twenty two percent. Like that's, that's really good. And that's just showing how good our penalty kill is. And like, they're just like, I'm so comfortable with them on the ice and like, they just look comfortable out there and they're making the right plays and somehow yeah. scoring shorties. So that's and all you Warner is also an un, un, um, unnoticed penalty killer too. Mm. Unappreciated. I mean, like he's also doing everything out there on the penalty kill. Yeah, he is for sure. Uh, yeah, their penalty kill is something else this year. Special teams, I still, I believe it's still first in the league. Um, I'm gonna need a fact check on that uh, yeah. in the comments. Uh, with the penalty killer, the power play, like combined. Oh, I, th- I think it's first. Yeah. The, yeah. I think the kill is fifth, and the power play is like first. So. Okay. Yeah. Then they definitely be in first. Uh, I'd say they're honestly they're more scary on the penalty kill than the other team on the power play. Mm-hmm. Maybe a little exaggeration. But third period, uh, Leafs going in strong. They got outshot almost every period except for the first. The Penguins had 19 shots in the third period, so they were really pressing. Uh, eventually, Campbell let up one, but, you know, that happens. You can't get a shutout every game. That's just how it goes. Uh, Malkin from Jeff Carter, it's whatever. You know, you put it behind you. Unfortunately, they couldn't get the shutout for Campbell, but he still played amazing. He still had um, 45 saves. So, Jude, maybe you're actually right on that (laughs) what when i corrected you 46 was it saves or shots you meant i said i said saves i think okay well we're gonna have to go fact check that after (laughs) Um, and then to finish off the game three minutes later michael bunting scores from matthews and marner a great play great zone entry marner to matthews matthews right across to bunting and bunting just brings it to his backhand and fools jari that was such a nice play that was just like the perfect like Matthews and Marner chemistry type thing. And it got someone on the line that can actually finish a, a gift like that, you know? So that's, it's good. Like bunting has been exceptional, like bunting, for example, just to throw it out there, you know, like he has 16 goals. That's good. Like I get that you're playing with Matthews and Marner. Most people would have a few goals playing with two of the best players in the, in the world. Felino didn't. <laughs> Well, Felino's an old, slow guy. But, yeah, you're right. But, I mean, he's played, like, upwards of 30 games. Right? So, like, <laughs> so he, he realizes that, like, Matthews, like, is really, like, loves the taste of posts. So he <laughs> just, like, gets there and, like, get, gets it in the greasy stuff, and he just lets Matthews eat posts. <laughs> okay, we, we have to get into that now. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll end it on that note. So Leafs overall played played great, but I, I don't know exactly what part of the game it was at. Was it? I'm guessing it was near the end. Very close to the end, yeah. It was like with ten minutes left. Yeah. <laughs> so Matthews just absolutely bombs his. It was his own net, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. yeah and yeah. he <laughs> in the video you can clearly see him losing a tooth, like a, an entire tooth, just mouth directly into crossbar. Tooth flies out. He, I think, fellow, you said he chipped a few. You saw, you saw a picture of him after the game. Yeah, they like zoomed in on him, and he was sitting on the bench, and he had like the middle two were like split up, 
tough. And there was a couple of missing over here. It was all top teeth though. It seemed like so. Official hockey smile. <laughs> he'll have to. He'll have to go get some dental work done. Oh, yeah, he's gonna have to get not going to stop his hockey abilities. So yeah. <laughs> he'll get used to it. It'll be hard to sleep tonight, but other than that, it'll be fine. Yeah, we modeling. Yeah, <laughs> modeling career might go down the toilet. No. <laughs> they can just Photoshop them in there, Jude. You can Photoshop yeah. them for him. I got you. Anything's Photoshopable. <laughs> yeah, we we were t- uh, talking about it before that we started the podcast. Just one of the most painful things ever, and just yeah. that that burning feeling, that burning cold feeling of your teeth whenever something like touches chipping it. A, chipping a tooth, it's just a terrible, terrible feeling. Like, yeah, I didn't realize he got hit hit that hard, but I guess he did. Yeah, I mean, he was directly like I. Yeah. I'm surprised he that he, he like his. Fast. Yeah, I'm still surprised that, like, I'm as tall as the crossbar. So, like... And over, I guess. Yeah, he, he skates low. He was, he was like, getting into it. Like, he was skating quick. I don't He's know. He's trying to follow Crosby around the net, I think. And he was, mm-hmm. like... He, he was trying to follow Crosby around the yeah. net. He was, like, going... Going yeah. around like that. <laughs> you know? Did he just throw it back? <laughs> no, no. No, he was just going like that. <laughs> so, that's how. It was, like, hits really... You know, it's fast. <laughs> okay 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 yeah. let, let, let's wrap it up here let's wrap it up here okay okay before <laughs> okay my bad. um my bad. It's all good man okay cool all right <laughs> um yeah i guess we'll wrap it up here unless you guys have anything else to say <laughs> about the game no uh, no it's a good game i this is what i have to say about the game okay Other other way, other way. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I don't know why I moved to. <laughs> yes, the, the Leafs get some claps. Uh, this has been the Buds in the Box podcast. Make sure you guys like and subscribe if you've made it this far. If you're listening on Spotify, we appreciate you listening to the end. Make sure to go check our sponsors out down below. Once again, this has been the Buds in the Box podcast. The Leafs win 4-1. to one. Bye for now.